Welcome to this podcast on scoring methods for actinic keratosis. The scoring methods to evaluate AK severity include the most common clinical and pathological classification systems and the two novel scoring systems, the actinic keratosis field assessment scale, the so-called AK FAS, and the actinic keratosis and severity index, the ACASI score. The clinical classification system of Olsen grades AK lesions according to their overall thickness with a grade 1 including slightly palpable AK lesions, grade 2 moderately thick AK lesions and grade 3 very thick hyperkeratotic lesions. Histologically, AKs are classified based on keratinocyte atypia extending to the basal and suprabasal layers of the epidermis as observed in AK1 up to the full thickness of the epidermis as seen in AK3. The main limitations of these classification systems are that the clinical AK classification using Olsen grading does not accurately match with histological classification and most often the clinical classification is lower than the assumed matched histological grade. In addition, these systems only assess the severity of individual AK lesions and do not consider the entire field cancerization. Therefore, two systems, the AK FAS and the ACASI, have been, have been developed for grading the severity of the AK field on the face and scalp with the aim to be applied both in clinical studies and in clinical practice. The AK FAS scale is based on the assessment of the combination of the total skin area affected by the AK lesions which is graded on a 5-point scale depending on the percentage range of skin area covered by AK lesions. Furthermore, hyperkeratosis and sun damage are evaluated as present or absent. This slide shows example of AK grade 1 with less than 10% area covered by AK up to grade 4 with more than 50% of area covered by AK lesions. Using the AK FAS method, a downstage of AK severity is observed in this patient treated with a conventional photodynamic therapy due to decreased percentage of involved skin area and reduced hyperkeratosis. The other scale is the ACASI score, which provides a quantitative evaluation of a case of the severity of a case across an entire affected area. The head is divided into four areas and each area is given a weighing based on its approximate relative size. For each region, the percentage of the area affected by a case is estimated and a numerical value from 0 to 6 is assigned.
then the severity of three clinical signs of a K, that is distribution, erythema and thickness, are assessed on a scale from 0 to 4. The total uh, ACASI score may range from 0 to 18, uh, where 18 is the most severe possible degree. Now let's see some examples of AK calculation. This is a female with no involvement of the scalp and isolated just palpable lesions on the forehead uh, with mild erythema, whereas you can appreciate that on the right cheek the lesions are clustered, are have a moderate erythema and are clearly palpable. Therefore, The final score uh, of Akazi in this patient is a 3.04, which is considered to be a light to moderate severity. Another example of a man with no involvement of the scalp but with an affected area between 50 and 69% with clustered and confluent AK lesions, clearly palpable, and with an intense or very intense erythema. In this patient, the total ACASI is 7.8, which is considered a moderate to severe case. Using the ACASI before and after conventional PDT treatment in this patient, you can notice the significant decrease of AK erythema and thickness, but persistence of some mild lesions. In conclusion, AKFAS and ACASI are scoring methods useful to assess the severity of AK in the clinical setting as well as to evaluate AK treatment efficacy and finally to compare efficacy of different AK treatments across clinical studies.